Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. If you're preparing for that proficiency exam or you just want to improve your business English or indeed your conversational English, well, you've come to the right place. We're certainly happy to help you. If you've got any questions, any problems, give me a shout. I'll give you the, the address later on. Okay, as I said, this is an advanced English lesson and we're looking at powerful ways to use the word look. Okay, so powerful, really stronger ways to use the, the word look. And we've got 14 in this particular case, 14 ways of looking at something or 14 ways of looking at somebody. So I'll explain them where best I can and we will go through them one by one. So most of these have a physical reaction that goes with them. There's some mood that you're in or some way of doing something and this way of looking is appropriate with that particular action. So I'll try to make sure that comes across in the explanations. Before we get started on this advanced lesson, I would just like to ask you if you do like the lesson, please like the video and also if you could subscribe to the channel, it'd be really, really great because it can help us a lot. So. Well, observe, it's quite formal. To observe something is to watch on at something without really getting involved. You usually observe from a distance. You watch and you note and you take care. So if there's some military maneuvers taking place, then the, the government ministers or the generals will observe from a distance to see what is happening and how expert the people are. Yeah, or you can say, I observed this and that. So it's quite a formal way to say, I was looking at or I was watching to observe. But usually it means doing it from a distance without actively getting involved to observe. To stare. Yes, when you stare, you have your eyes open and you're looking hard at something. Sometimes you don't believe what you're seeing. So you stare, my God, I don't believe it, yeah? To stare. Or sometimes it can be mistaken for being rude when you see somebody perhaps beautiful or not so beautiful or whatever, and you stare at them because it's an unusual sight. And the somebody said, don't stare, it's rude. Yeah, so of course it is to stare at people. We shouldn't stare, but we often do because we don't believe what we see. Mm -hmm. To stare, to stare in disbelief is a good expression. Gawk. It's a very informal way to gawk is another way to stare, but it's a very, very informal slang word. The pronunciation, you've got the stress on the final K, gawk. What are you gawking at? Yeah, very, very old Irish expression, meaning what are you looking at? So if you're standing staring at somebody and they don't like it, they might say, what are you gawking at? Yeah, what are you looking at? So you have to apologize because otherwise there may be a fight or a row. So to gawk means to stare in a very informal and it's a slang word to gawk and practice the pronunciation. To gaze. Well, we often gaze into somebody's eyes. It's a, the expression we use when new love, young love, yeah? Somebody falls in love for the first time or the second time and they gaze into the eyes of their partner. Ha, ah, gaze, 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 gaze. Or if you're on a wonderful holiday and you're gazing out over the ocean, you're standing on one of these golden sandy beaches and looking out at nothing in particular on the ocean, or there might be a few yachts or boats or people swimming. You sit there or stand there gazing into the distance. Ha, <sighs> yes, gazing, mm -hmm. okay. To leer, leer is a, mm, well, it's a rude way to look at somebody, a member of the opposite sex, male or female, yes? Yeah? So when you leer at somebody, you might be physically attracted to them, but it's not a pleasant way to look, yeah? So now it be, would be very non-PC, not politically correct to leer at anybody in that way. And, you know, people would say, oh, it's disgusting. Have you seen the way he leers at the girls in the office? Or have you ever been in the elevator with him? Oh, I don't know. He makes me creepy, makes my skin creepy, leers. So somebody who looks at somebody in a probably sexual way and, uh, but it's not pleasant and it's certainly something that is not 
politically correct in the modern world, so to leer. Squint. Well, people who wear glasses like me, if you take off the glasses and you can't read something, you squint. You're trying to read something, the print on your screen, perhaps on your laptop. You start squinting at it because you forgot to put on your glasses and you can't read it. Or if you see the bus coming in the distance and you know glasses, you can't make out the number of the bus, so you're squinting to see, is this your bus or your train? Yeah. Okay, so to squint, so you close your eyes and you try to focus on what's ahead of you so you can read it clearly and properly, to squint. Peek. Well, we used to have a game with the kids where we'd say peekaboo. Peek, peekaboo, peek. When peek is when you look very quickly, you hide your eyes or close your eyes, then you open them, peek. So to peek at something means to take a quick look. You can use it, for example, if you come home and uh, you're trying to find out the presents that somebody has bought for Christmas and you're very, very inquisitive. So you start peeking in a few cupboards to see if you can find what has been bought. Yeah, so you're trying to just take a quick peek to see what it might be, okay? So you look in the cupboard of places where your partner might normally hide the presents because that's what you usually do, try to find them and have a quick peek, meaning a quick look. Peep. Peep is to peep at something quickly to, but without being seen, you know? So we often have the situation where neighbours like to know what's happening, particularly older neighbours, so they peep out of the window or they peep from the behind the curtains hoping that nobody will see them. But if you're very, very quick, you'll see the curtains moving and you can see them trying to see what you're doing, what you're putting into the car, what you're taking out of the car. Yeah, So they have a quick peep, Yeah, but it's usually done in secret so that nobody sees them. Yeah, okay, so peep. So it's, it's a, a, a secretive way to look at something, to peep. So if you're looking out for the kids and you don't want them to see that you're watching them, you don't want, you're hoping they won't get hurt, so you peep around the corner quickly to make sure they're safe and sound. Yeah, So they're walking to school for the first time on their own. So you follow them a little bit of the way and you peep around the corner to make sure everything is okay, to peep. Peer, to peer into the distance. It's a bit like uh, gazing, to peer into the distance to see what you can see, yeah? To peer over the wall to see what's there, to peer into somebody's garden, or if you're walking along the street and they have the curtains open and you can see quite clearly into the room, you peer into the room and say, hmm, that looks nice. Wow, look at the size of the TV they have, to peer, to look into something a, a little bit, but with a bit of a distance, yeah, to peer. Gape. Now, we often gape with our, with our mouths open. My mother used to say to me, don't stand there gaping with your mouth open when you're surprised or shocked. So perhaps when you come down on that Christmas morning or perhaps for your birthday, you come down and you see all the presents on the table or under the tree and your mouth opens. Wow. So what are you gaping at? Oh, have you seen all the presents under the tree? It's wonderful. So it's usually done with a, a certain amount of surprise to gape, but usually with your mouth and your eyes wide open. <gasps> Whoa! To gape. Hmm? To gape in amazement. The next one is glare. Now, we usually glare at somebody when we're annoyed. So somebody says something and we, hmm, and we sit there and we stare at them, but we've got a very, very stern face. And we glare at them to let them know without saying anything that we're really, really annoyed. So, you know, if you've done something at home and your mother or father turn around and they just, you know, one of those looks, they glare at you and you know they're not happy, okay? So they don't have to say anything, but the, the look and the uh, the look on their face is enough to tell you, yeah, they're not an, they're not pleased, they're not happy. So to glare, to glare, usually with annoyance or in annoyance. Okay, glance. A glance is a a quick look. Did you see uh, the accident outside? No, I just had a quick glance. It doesn't seem to be anything serious. So a glance, a quick glance, a quick look at something. Can you glance 
over those notes I sent you before the meeting. Yeah, I'll take a quick glance, meaning I'll take a quick look. I won't study them in detail, but I'll take a quick look, a quick glance. Glance over it when you have some time. Now, just see if there's anything that jumps out at you that might not be correct to glance at them. Glimpse. To glimpse is to see something quickly, but without getting too much detail. I just had a quick glimpse. Everything seemed to be fine to me. Yeah. Did you think everything was in order? Yeah, yeah. I had a quick glimpse, meaning a quick look, but it all seemed fine. I don't think there'll be any problems. Yeah. So, um, or if the policeman asks you, did you see this guy coming into the, the bank or did you see this guy coming into the office? I just took got a quick glimpse of him as I was walking past. But to be honest, I didn't really pay any attention. I didn't see anything unusual. Why? What happened? So they're looking for information about somebody who came into the bank or came into the office and has taken something, but they're looking for witnesses. And uh, you, like many other people, saw him, but you didn't notice anything different. So I had a quick glimpse, but nothing out of the ordinary. So a glimpse meaning a quick, short look at something. And then finally, ogle. To ogle something is to look at something with desire. Yeah, You walk into that cake shop and you see the array of beautiful, beautiful cakes in front of you. Chocolate cakes, raspberry cakes, sponge cakes, all sorts of cinnamon cake, whatever they are. They're all there, chocolate eclairs lined up one after the other. And you stand there with your mouth almost watering. And you ogle. Ogle means to look at them with desire, that you really, really, really want to get your hands and more importantly, your teeth into one or two of those because they just look absolutely delicious. Well, don't just ogle those. Why don't you buy one? Yeah. So what are you ogling at? So why don't you buy one cake, try it, and that will at least satisfy your appetite to ogle. Okay, so they're the 14 ways, good ways, unusual ways, powerful ways in which you can have alternative ways of looking at something. So we can be observing, gawking, gazing, glimpsing, glaring at, and often, as I said, they do come together with some sort of mood or some sort of action. You are to glare when you're annoyed, to squint when you can't see something. Okay, so the best thing to do is to take them, try them, see can you put them into your speech, see can you use them. And again, if you have any problems, you don't understand them, come back to me. One or two of them have similar meanings. You're peeking and peeping. But, you know, just find out a situation when you can use them, practice them, and you'll get a better understanding. Okay, so as always, I really appreciate it when you, you listen. If you want to uh, contact me, you can on www.englishlessonviaskype.com. Very happy to hear from you. And as always, I look forward to meeting you at the next lesson. This is Harry saying goodbye, and thanks for joining me today.